Karen, I'm just not so sure about the security in this place. Yeah, me either, but we should move on to the next review. <gasps> Welcome to Lego Jurassic World. Our attractions will drive kids out of their minds. What kind of park is this? It's right up your alley. Next time, I'm just bringing a sand blaster. Dinosaurs, is there anything cooler? I don't think there is, Darren. Hmm, processing. No, I have analysed everything, and it is true that nothing is cooler than dinosaurs. Ah, good. Well, Lego Jurassic World is the latest Lego game based off a film. Except this particular Lego game is a bit special to us because not only is it based off the latest film, which is okay, mm. it's based off all the Jurassic Park films. <laughs> oh. <gasps> Including the first film, which is my personal favourite. Ah, yes, this is the dinosaur game we have been waiting for, guys. And, of course, in true Lego style, you can run for your Lego life with a friend. We should point out that while this game is rated PG, which means it's OK for spawnings to play, the Jurassic Park movies vary in their ratings from PG to M, so they might not be suitable for younger spawnlings. Oh, thanks, Darren. Yes, this game may be a Lego game, but it does get kind of scary at times. Especially the first few hours, which we'll talk about the most because they are the most interesting parts of the whole game. Jurassic Park 1 begins at the Raptor loading dock. Velociraptors are the scariest dinosaurs of all because they're almost as smart as Barjo. Oh, thanks, Darren. Oh, you're welcome, Barjo. I don't think that's a compliment, Barjo. Dinosaurs' brains are pretty small. <laughs> it's a dark, eerie, windy night. The Raptor cage is being loaded into the pen. There's a sense that something is about to go very wrong. And it does! <laughs> Shoot her! <laughs> that poor man's sausage! Yeah, this game seems to be obsessed with sausages. <gasps> from this point on, the game moves through key moments from the films, and they've picked fantastic scenes for you to play out. Must go faster. Epic action sequences, stealth sections, and, of course, lots of Lego building and puzzles. It must have been quite tricky for these developers to go through all of these films and pick moments that work really well as gameplay. Affirmative. You can tell they've extended certain scenes from the films which work quite well, such as the T-Rex escape sequence. And they've skipped and tweaked certain sections where characters would normally be alone, so the game can always be played in co-op. Yes, and if you know these films and are as much of a fan of them as I am, then you'll be waiting for those moments to pop up with the famous lines and famous action sequences and just be so excited to see them, such as the scary kitchen scene from the first film. Oh, what is it? It's a velociraptor. <laughs> oh, oh, the life finds a way line from Dr. Ian Malcolm. <laughs> it's one thing the history of evolution has taught us, it's that life uh, finds a way. Oh, or running through the grass away from those scary raptors in the second film. <laughs> ah, so many great moments. And you know what, guys? I even enjoyed the fourth film oh, sections, even though that film is my least favourite out of all four of them. It was quite fun being raptors and doing all that co-op stuff. This game is quite an achievement in terms of variety. Of course, there's plenty of backtracking to do later with other characters to unlock certain collectibles, as is common with all the LEGO games. But you can tell the developers have made an extra special effort to include many different gameplay situations to suit all of these films. Yes, it really is a fan's dream, isn't it? And they use all the actual dialogue from the film, so it really does feel like you're playing through them. He did send a backup plan. What backup plan? <laughs> Me. And there's so many objectives and puzzles, too. You'll be saving sick dinosaurs, rebuilding broken machines, elite 3D hacking, and way too many other situations to mention. 
But guys, I did like how it wasn't always just break the thing to build the thing and move to the next area. Hmm. There are still lots of mechanics like this that we have seen many times before, though. But it's mostly forgivable in this case, as there are plenty of unique ideas and moments to keep you entertained. Hmm. And each character has their own unique ability, of course, and there are heaps to unlock. Dr. Alan Grant can use his raptor claw to cut grass and rope. Ellie Sattler is a paleobotanist, which means she studies ancient plants, and this can come in handy. She also isn't afraid to get her hands dirty. Ugh. And Dr. Ian Malcolm is a mathematics genius. Chaotician, chaotician, actually. Ah, yes, Spawnlings may not be aware, but I'm actually cosplaying as Dr. Ian Malcolm today, who has some of the best lines in the first two films. So that should make an interesting chapter in your book. And he is played by one of the coolest actors ever, Jeff Goldblum. Affirmative. He is truly an eccentric and enigmatic actor. I think he actually comes from space. <laughs> Interesting. It's quite a beautiful looking game too, with some good effects. And there's quite a bit of exploring you can do about the island. They spared no expense. Yes, but I do wish it was a fully open world game though. Yeah, me too. Wouldn't that be amazing just roaming a dino park? <sighs> What did you think overall, though, Hex? Well, what I love most about this game is that it spans generations. Parents, older brothers and sisters can sit down with younger gamers and they can both relive and enjoy moments from all of these films. There are still a few fiddly gameplay mechanics and controls, such as getting slide to work. But they are small issues compared to the amount of content in this game and that classic Lego sense of humour. Desky. They set a trap. They actually set a trap. I'm giving this four out of five rubber chickens. Yeah, this is just so cinematic, and there were so many dream come true moments for me. I had a great time with this, and the music is great too. Oh, everything is great. I'm giving it a one, two, three, uh, uh, a four and a half out of five rubber chickens. <laughs> We're back in the car again.